Hi everyone, it's me again. Part three, 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 three. There we go. Uh, my Sherlock journal. Um, today we're going to be working on embellishments, uh, tags, and some graphics that I, I I printed off, which I really really like. Um, one of the pages that I oops, let me find it first. Okay, one of the pages in the Graphic 45 Master Detective was uh, one of these. Okay, had a bunch has a bunch of whatever on it. So I, using my scraps, I didn't cut up another piece, but using my scraps, I tried to get out as much as I could with little um, hole punches. You know, like this one says um, the game. Uh, this one's got words: sinister secret, sign of the four help me, um, and then little pieces with, you know, like My Dear Watson. Uh, this one says elementary. This one says a beautiful mystery. This one says who done it. This one was just a little bit of everything and I had left over, so I turned it into a tag. There's the back. I wonder if we're getting a, a glare. Is that from the light? I might have to might have to fix that but um, so I just kind of wanted to show you what I did with with the one inch squares or circles rather I'm sorry is um, just some of them when I punched them out I put some uh, glossy accents on it see if you can see the shine there we go right there you know to give them a little bit of extra I also did some you know pulled some off the pieces we were using for wallpaper, stuff like that. I also cut out one of their ephemera pages, which will go in, uh, um, you know, also graphically. So, but I wanted to work on some of these. I was watching, I hope I pronounce her name right, Gail Agnes Deli. Anyway, she was calling them paper pebbles where she was uh, layering circles and, and you know, uh, doing that. Ugh. <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> okay. Glossy accents. She also said if you didn't have glossy accents but you had like clear embossing powder, um, that would work too. You can do it either way. Um, even with the glossy accents, if you wanted more sparkle, you could sprinkle some diamond dust or some glitter or something in it, and that would work as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of these together, let them dry, and then we'll work on the next thing I have. Let's see, there we go. If you hear a chiming in the background, it's not my clock. It's the it's the neighborhood church. Every hour on the hour they like to chime and usually it's not so bad sometimes it's distracting and irritating but you know hey it is what it is let's see there we go I'll put this one on this so what I did before I came back on to start or, you know, before I started the videos, I went ahead and got my paper punches, my scallop punches, and just started punching out different things that I thought might, you know, might work. So that way it didn't take up a lot of air time, just you guys watching me punch out shapes and stuff. This one says signs of the four. This one I love it says help me. It wasn't quite dry when I picked it up, but um, hopefully it's dry enough. Yeah, it is. I don't even know if I'm going to layer that on there. I think I kind of like that as is. Throw that over there. This one, 221 Baker Street. Sorry, 221B Baker Street. 
Make sure we get that right, right? Okay, and that one's already stuck. That one's stuck. Put that over there for a minute. Okay, so we're going to set these aside for a minute and let them dry. And put them up here on this little ledge. Leave those alone for a minute. All right, one of the things I wanted to also show was I showed this in the first video, you know, some of the things I had set aside for the Sherlock journal. But um, this, I got a package of tags, right? I got it from Tuesday morning. Uh, Vintage Market, the Seven Gypsies is where it is, the company they're from. Um, there's 50 tags in here. I got it for $2.99. So that was a pretty good buy. I just wanted to show you. I mean, if you looked it up, you might be able to find it on, you know, online or something. But let's see what we've got here. Okay. So we can use black as good. I don't want polka dots. Might be able to use one of those. One of those. Maybe, oh, that one's almost like watercolor paper. It's pretty thick. All right. Let's do a smaller tag. Let's try one of these fat ones right here. So let's just start with those. They've got smaller, but I'm not going to worry about those at the moment. If I need a filler or something, I can get those and add those in. So I'm put those over there. Stay. Alrighty. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm into the black now that I figured out that white pigment ink, right? Okay, what I also did was some of the scrap paper that I had left over from uh, filling in the signatures. I made little pockets. Okay. I haven't glued them on or anything. But so that the tags will sit in them when we're done decorating them. And I promise I did not measure these. I was just guessing. So the, those two kind of worked out right. But I only did two because I wanted to do a couple on, on camera and show you. Some people, when they do it, they just like fold it over and stick it in there. But then you're wasting a whole half a sheet of paper. Okay, because it's going to be glued down and you won't see it. Let me get my paper cutter. So what I'm going to do is let me find, okay, that's the tallest. So let me see. I'm just doing it for measurement purposes. That's all. There we go. All right. Now this is a really, really, really thin piece of paper. It's only one sided. I mean, so what I'm going to do very carefully. Okay, where did you go? Yes, I have too much stuff on my desk right now. I don't like that. I get cluttered and flustered and liberty gibbeted. There we go. All right. So we're going to do this the long way, right? So be really careful. Thin paper, even, even with the Martha Stewart one, can still rip. All right. So I'm going to go in about, uh, let's see, one, two, three, about three-eighths of an inch in. And I'm going to score that. Okay. Three-eighths of an inch in. And then I'm just going to turn it around so I can do it three-eighths of an inch in again. Two, three. Oops, come on. And then I'll take the end. Now on the bottom, I go up about a half an inch. It's only an eighth of an inch higher, but still. There we go. Set this one down for a minute. All 
All right, then the corners down here that are folded that cross over, let me see. You can see it. Okay, you can see it on this corner right here. Um, I just take it and I cut it at an angle all the way across. That way when you fold it up to use it, you're not folding up extra extra paper. So just see. See what I mean? How they how they meet right there. And there's not all kinds of extra paper that you have to tuck and trim and all of that. If you just cut that corner off automatically. Now see, check that out. And that'll glue or tape or however you want to attach it pretty nicely. This one, I'm going to use my hole punch and cut. Let's see. That's a little too big, so let me get a smaller one. <sighs> cut a half a circle, and that way you've got that little whatever you call it. Okay, so we've got three right here. Probably need one more. I'll do black. Now, see, I'm not even measuring. But I'll go in. Some people do a quarter of an inch, but when I'm doing pockets, I like to give it a little bit more. Only because... Crap, let me... I want the extra... Uh, what do you call it? Support. That's only an eighth of an inch, but still, sometimes that eighth of an inch is a big difference. Oh, that's what she said. Okay, no, I did not go there. <laughs> but, you know, hey. Um, okay. And this one I'm going to go in half an inch. it. You see what I mean? If you don't cut that corner off right there and you try to fold it over, you've got that extra, extra paper there that just adds bulk and weight that isn't necessary. And then when you fold it up, They meet. See how that works? Just one of those little little things that make you go, huh? All right. One of the things I did do off camera. This is just my preference because uh, I get impatient trying to keep things together and hold them and clip them and and everything. I took each of my signatures. Okay. And I ran my sewing machine down the center. So I know when I go to sew them into my journal now. And I can trim them if I want at this point. They're not going to be sliding all over. And I don't have to worry about papers falling out. And all of that nice, neat, happy stuff. So there we go. All right, so did we determine, I forget which one we were going to do first. I believe it was this one we were going to do first. So we'll set these aside for a minute. There. Okay, get some more coffee. Oh, on top of doing these little, you know, banners and little graphics things and little bitty tags and stuff like that, I'd also printed off some graphics from the computer. 
and I just told my gr my grandson this joke, and I thought it was funny as anything, and I didn't get it first either, so, but it's claimed to be the best Sherlock Holmes joke ever. So it says, Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson were going camping. They pitched their tent under the stars and went to sleep. Sometime in the middle of the night, Holmes woke Watson up and said, Watson, look up at the sky and tell me what you see. Watson replied, I see millions and millions of stars. Holmes said, and what do you deduce from that? Watson replied, well, if there are millions of stars, and even if a few of those have planets, it's quite likely that there are some planets like Earth out there. And if there are a few planets like Earth out there, there might also be life. Holmes said, Watson, you idiot. It means somebody stole our tent. Yeah, I didn't get it either, but I thought it was funny. It's all get out. So, but yeah, there's some, some graphics that I'm going to use. Um, see, this one's really funny. I love this. I love... <laughs> you know, has anybody watched the movie, uh, the Marvel movie, um, Doctor Strange with Benedict Cumberbatch? He played Doctor Stephen Strange, but he also plays Sherlock on the BBC Sherlock Holmes um, series. So this cracked me up. He's using his ring, you know, to open a portal to 221 B Baker Street. I, just, I love the irony there, or the, the whatever you call it. So, okay, actually, what I'd really like to do is find a graphic I can put right there. So, not that. Not that. Ooh, I like that one. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I wonder if that would fit. Actually, it would. So, that's a contender. That's a contender. Oh, this is one of my favorite quotes. He says, I may be on the side of angels, but don't think for one second that I am one. <laughs> 221B Baker Street. All right. Where do we go? Okay, so we'll get that one. And... Kind of like that one too, so I just can't make up my mind. Well, that one didn't even come out right. Alrighty. All right. Let's cut them out and see what we see. We'll set this one aside for a minute. Now, when I printed them out, I went ahead and printed them all at a four by six size for my printer. I changed my printer around because I figure I can change it uh, to whichever way I want, to whatever size I want. And if I need it a little bit smaller, I can make it smaller because that's only four and a four and a quarter across. And this is four by six, so it should be okay. If I need to trim it smaller, then it'll get trimmed smaller. But for all intents and purposes, yep, yeah, that'll have to be smaller. So I can go like that. You see, it's not an exact science. So we can put that in there. I don't want that one in there just yet, though. I believe I want... No, not that one. It's facing the wrong way. That one's facing the way I want it. So, let's do this again. 
but I'm going to make it smaller. Let me cut him up, cut him apart because I don't want to cut into the Doctor Strange one. I think that's cool. It's even would it be even be better if the the if the TARDIS was up in the corner? <laughs> that would be fabulous. Okay. It's been a while since I've watched any Doctor Who, so I'm probably gonna have to. Um, let's see. Okay. You know, refresh my. That's almost the perfect size. Almost, almost. I really like that. So I think we'll put him right there. The paper side. And we can glue him in or tape him in. I believe I'm going to use both, like normal. Let's see where Taping on paper shouldn't be as bad, so I can probably get away with not gluing it as well. I wouldn't want the paper, because it's regular copy paper with the graphic on it, I wouldn't want the uh, paper to wrinkle. I cannot find my corner rounder. That is like one of my favorite scrapbook crafting items in my entire collection or my entire inventory and I can't find it anywhere. So that is driving me bonkers. There we go. A little bit hungover so I'm going to take my scissors and just trim that little bit right, right there. Just a little bit. So there's that one. Decide where we want to put one of these pockets. We'll do this one right here. Right here. Yeah, we'll do this one right here. I looked and could not find the other, uh, what do you call it, um, set of stamps that I had specifically set aside for this journal. And I know the minute I'm finished with the journal is when I'll find them, right? That's how it always works. Okay. There we go. Now, what I do when I... Yeah. glue in pockets like this. I'll just give it a little bit of extra holding power until um, it sets. That's not going to be long enough, so i got to get out one of those big paper clips. which the brass one, I might go ahead and just, there we go. That just helps hold the paper down for a few minutes until the glue sets. There we go. Alrighty. Let's look over here. Okay. 
Let that set for a minute. And I'll cut out some more graphics. One of his other uh, favorite sayings, well, at least the BBC one. I don't ever remember the, the Arthur Conan Doyle one saying it in any of his books, but when they accuse Sherlock of being a psychopath, and he tells them, I am a highly functioning sociopath. Get it right. That's one of my favorites. One of my favorite quotes, he says. If you guys haven't seen the BBC series, um, Sherlock Holmes, you really should. It is, it is really good. Um, let's see, the, they've had several different people play Sherlock Holmes, you know, over the years. My favorite is Basil Rathbone, um, just because... I just think he played Sherlock the best with Nigel Stone as Watson. Uh, and there's been several that have tried to play Sherlock Holmes since then. You know, like Robert Downey Jr. tried and with Jude Law as his, his Watson. And I don't know. It just it didn't quite didn't quite do it for me. And, of course, that's going to be too big, so I'm going to have to shrink that if I want to use it. But then when they came out with the Sherlock Holmes with Benedict Cumberbatch, my son was the one, I believe, that introduced me to that series. And I will tell you what, next to Basil Rathbone, Basil, Tomato, tomato. Um, Benedict Cumberbatch has got it beat. And I love Martin Freeman as Watson. It's hard not to think of him as Bilbo Baggins, but, you know, hey. He does a fabulous Watson. I just, I like the... I don't know. I like it. Okay, here we go. And of course, that's a little bit too big, but they gave it in, um, what do you call? They gave you with options to make it, you know, to trim it. That is what I shall do. Actually, I don't want to trim it that way. I want to just trim it long ways. Let's see how that works. Eh, give or take. Might as well. But yeah. aside for a minute. I don't know if I should do that one or that one. Probably should have done that one first. But that's okay. There's the sign of the four one. I gotta trim those out. Okay. I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller. Just a little. Now, I will tell you this. If your blade is not sharp, you would not be able to make those itty-bitty cuts. 
um, it would just tear your paper up. So if you're going to make, you know, really thin, you know, trims, make sure your, uh, your cutter blade is new or sharp or something along those lines because it can really jack up the paper that you're using. I'm wondering if I shouldn't just put it like that and fold it. Huh. Probably. Well, if it doesn't work, I have another one. But what if we did it like that? Kind of like a... I like that. I think I'll do that. Not there. Here. Put it right there. Okay, well this is dry, so I'm going to go ahead and pull those off. Yeah, all that does is just hold it for me while I do something else. I think that's pretty cool. But I might want to put something underneath it. Don't know what yet. I want to put something like this underneath. Oh yeah, let's do that. I know, I'm just kind of throwing things at it. at it, but how much I'll take a little bit off the top and how much off the bottom alright There we go. So now, we put this as a background, and then we'll put this right on top. I like that. Okay. So, what do you guys think? not to do this off screen. You guys will laugh if I if I zoomed out a little and you guys seen how much of a mess my desk was. There we go. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, it's all over the place. So probably be able to see it better now though. I don't know. I kind of like that there as it is. Let me see. <laughs> see, that's the fun about, you know, using your own imagination. Sometimes it looks better one way, and sometimes you think it will one way, and then you do it another, and you're thinking, ah, I kind of like that as is, so just as is. So let's put this one, we'll put him dead in the center. Should we put him up and then something else down here? Ah, we'll put something down here. I like that. So,
Now before I start pulling that off, I'm going to crease that edge a little bit, give it a nicer, a cleaner press, cleaner crease. Let me see. There we go. All righty. Any, any hangover that you see? Let me see if we can get there. Any tape hangover? Uh, let me see if you can see it. There you go. Instead of trying to cut it off, just fold it back on itself. It saves a lot of, lot of problems. It always has for me anyway. Usually I'm pretty good about no excess, but Sometimes it just gets away from you. you make sure it's even. There we go. Oh, I'm going to have to put a rug under my desk because the floor is so cold. All right, so now we've got we've got one graphic here. Okay, we've got the tag pocket, some stamping. Not quite sure. We got a little bit more graphic here. We've got nothing here. We've got a little book here. Let's see what else we can do. This is what I mean when you're trying to put together a a, a signature that might get fatter than what you anticipated. Always leave room. I learned that the hard way. You guys, in my last video, you seen my, my Halloween journal, how I put like a half inch, not even a half inch, huh, probably a half inch binder with two signatures in it. And pow! It exploded. Alrighty then. Oh, see, now that would be cool right here. To look that over and then this. Hmm. Never even thought of that. Cool beans. Cool beans. Alrighty. I want something in the background of this, though. I don't want to leave it as is. Now, I've got some... order from Joggles, okay, online. I love the bags that they send their stuff in because it always, it's always like vintage. Vintagey. Well, see, that's vintagey. That's an old piano book from, oh, I don't have the, let me see. Yeah, I've got old. Ah, here we go. This is what I was looking for. Um, she always sends bags that are um, vintage. So it's kind of cool. You know, it's like vintage um, newspaper ads and, and stuff like that. So that's kind of what I was looking for. Anything bigger? No, no, see, this is from Facing Column 1882, Self-Education. Yeah, I've got quite a bit of... I'm going to leave that one out because I like that. I don't believe there's anything in here I need. No, nope, not yet. Okay. Whoops. Let's see if there's anything else. No, but I do have more of my coffee dyed papers that look how this one came out, which I thought was really cool. It was the like a cover sheet for some grid paper. Alright, it says quad rule, but it's just grid paper. 
so the texture was different than regular paper, but look at the back. Isn't that cool? I love that. I might use that in the... Let me see. Okay. That'll just have to do for now. An old card. <sighs> okay. Alrighty then. Where did this go? I'm just going to put this right here. Well, that's kind of cool as a, as a backdrop. What do you think? Now, one of the things that I notice some people do when they make their journals and it's perfectly fine okay there's nothing wrong with it I don't want anybody to think I'm hammering somebody for for um, their choices because no 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 not at all not at all now this I'm gonna go ahead and glue since it's so thin and it's wrinkled anyway uh, they'll make a journal and it will be so full and beautiful. Don't get me wrong, right? Okay, that one doesn't want to come out again. So we're just going to leave that. And grab another one. I don't feel like screwing with it. There we go. Uh, okay. That, they, that there's no room to journal in it. And there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Nothing at all. But what I find funny is if, you know, it's going to it's going to be made that way, then they should come up with another name for it. You know, like a graphics book or a, a junk book or I don't know. What, what would you call it if, you know, you didn't actually have any journaling spots in it? I don't know. That's one of those things where you just... You hope I could have probably taped this, but I already had the glue out, so might as well. Okay. So, yeah, but, you know, using the name journal implies either somebody's written in it and it's somebody else's journal or it's a blank for you to write in it. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe... You know, it's something totally not. And that's okay, too. All right. <sighs> okay. All right, I don't want to close that because it's still drying. Okay. Leave that open for a minute and we will work on a tag for this pocket. Let's see, what size do we want? We don't want the big one. That's another big one. How's this one? That'll work. Okay. So we'll put these aside. And we'll work on this one. I'll try that one. Okay. I'll use this one until I can find the oh, other one. 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 Alright. Now some of the graphics I cut out will be what I want to use. This one I believe I wanted it down here. Where did it say my dear Watson? Right there. So we'll go. Well that one didn't cut straight. Hmm. Oh, where's my paper cutter? There it is. 
Now this is when I was trying to cut these pieces out from my scraps, so it's not going to be go elementary, my dear Watson. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it to the top of the top edge of this. So I'll do it that way. Just to hold it there for a minute, leave that there, that there, and we will start on this one. Now these are dry, so we can probably bring these down. Okay, life is a beautiful mystery. Well, my grandson's hollering in the background. He gets so mad playing that Fortnite. I'm like, dude, it's a game. Really? It's a game. If it's going to piss you off that much, don't play. Oh, I'm not mad. <laughs> okay, you haven't heard yourself yelling and cussing and screaming for the last hour. done it. Alright, and then, yeah, it's not going to be frilly because, you know, it's kind of steampunky-ish. Vintage old and all right. And for a start, I don't know if you can. There we go. Yeah, this one is a little bright, so let me tilt that this way some. There, you can see that better now. And, you know, worst comes to worst, if you wanted, you could throw in, you know, another little tag here or there. But for all intents and purposes, this one's semi-done. All right, we'll pull this one off. about as even as it's going to be. Then you've got, uh, there we go, elementary my dear Watson and then you open it up and there's Sherlock and Watson talking when they're on, I believe they're on the train there. Yes, 
They're on the train. Probably on the way to Baskerville. So, got that one. Up front where the pocket is. I don't have anything to put right there yet. I do. I'm just not going to get it out at the moment. So we'll go ahead and put that there. Let's find something to put right here. Let me see. What can we put right here? How about this? 221 Baker Street. 221B Baker Street. I'm sorry. Two twenty one B Baker Street. Make it a wipe out so I can wipe out the excess glue. So I will go ahead and bring that in some. There we go. Pull the camera out just a little since I seem to be off camera, which I'm not trying to be, but you know, hey, sometimes it is what it is. And you can only do so much. Okay. So, so far we've got Why does that seem upside down? It's not supposed to be. Well, I hope not because <laughs> if it is, we're in trouble. But that's okay. So far. This is what we've got so far for the first signature. Now, obviously, we're not done. Okay. There's a tag that I really need to get the, to do the thing with. But I'll find them in a minute. Okay. Some more graphics in. I really like that. That's right there. That. That. And that. All right. Now I'm going to go to the next one because I don't want to put like everything I have in one that I have out. I want to um, spread it out. So let's do this one and see what we've got here. All right. Now, because this was a wallpaper sample, this cover that I'm using, um, it's going to have, you know, the advertising and stuff like that on the inside. So this is this will probably be one of the ones I cover with one of these graphics. Which is probably uh yeah. Okay, so I need five and a half by four and a quarter. So five and a half tall. Go ahead and cut the top of this off so I can measure it from there. There we go. All right, so we want five and a half tall. There. Let me cut off the one inside. And we want four and a quarter wide. So four and a quarter. So that's going to be, all right, perfect. And then we'll take this and it will cover, it will cover that advertising from the inside. Uh, 
Okay, let's put the lid on this. Grab the tape because this is thin and I don't want to mess it up. Yeah, those, she called them, Gail called them paper pebbles, I believe. If I can remember, I will link her video to her uh, paper pebbles um, in the description below. I might forget. I apologize if I do. <laughs> Go ahead and leave me a comment and say, hey, dummy, you forgot. Be nice, of course. But, yeah. Okay, there we go. And that covered that up really nicely, wouldn't you say? I like that. Okay, so then we've got... That. Oh, we got to do something back here, too. I almost forgot. Okay. Let's see. I mean, I've got more, but... Okay, there we go. I like that one. So I need five and a half high. This right here, this one says, okay, focus. There we go. It says, but there can be no grave for Sherlock Holmes or Dr. Watson. Shall they not always live in Baker Street? Are they not there this moment? As one writes, outside the hansoms rattle through the rain and Moriarty plans his latest devilry. Within, the sea coal flames upon the hearth and Holmes and Watsons take their well-won ease. So they still live for all that love them well in a romantic chamber of the heart in a nostalgic country of the mind where it is always. So I believe that, uh-oh, I dropped something. Ah, the tape, I'll have to get that. Yeah. I think Sherlock is Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson will always, 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 always. Oh, fooey. I need to trim that, don't I? Anyways, they'll always be immortalized and will never, never die. Because if they did, then that means the Moriarty's around the world will have won, right? And heaven forbid we allow that to happen. It would absolutely cause Sherlock and Holmes, or Watson rather, to turn over in their grave. And we wouldn't want that, would we? Okay. <sighs> oh, there's my tape. Oh, not funny. Um, some people have a hard time with. Uh, you know, being able to afford craft supplies. And I get that. 
I do because I can't. I'm on disability and I only make a set amount of money a month. But there are a couple of websites that you can use. Like I go to, sometimes I'll use AliExpress. Now, it takes, it takes a good 30 to 45 days sometimes for you to get your stuff. But it is coming from China, Hong Kong, Taiwan, you know, uh, places over in the, the east. And, uh, but I will tell you, um, I can get 10 rolls of double stick tape, double facing tape like this. Okay. For about five bucks. So when I order it, I order probably maybe two or three orders at a time, you know, I'll, quantity will be two or three. So I'll get anywhere from 20 to 35 or 20 to 30 um, rolls of tape so I not run out. When I get down to maybe five rolls, which takes me forever to be honest because I, I, I like glue, you know, but um, when I get low, when I get down to about five rolls, I'll place another order. But I have, I have really good luck with this tape. See, there's a little bitty ledge right there. I'm going to trim that. You know, I remember when I first started out trying to find double stick or double face tape. You know, that was worth, worth spending the money. You get, you know, maybe six feet of double face tape, one inch wide, and it costs you eight bucks. And that'll get you far, right? Not. And then there was this company I was watching online that um, makes their own double stick tape, which is good. But every time you wanted the one inch or the two inch, they were always out. They never had it in stock. And so I just, I gave up. I was like, okay, never mind. Now, um, I do whatever I want. Okay. All right, so we covered up the back of that one. We were going to determine where we were going to put the pocket for this one, right? I don't want to do that there. So let's put the pocket for the tag. Huh. No, let's put it right here. Alrighty, let's do the big one. Actually, that is kind of too big for me, isn't it? So let's trim this down. Put that right there for a minute. We'll trim that down. We will not get rid of that. We will hold on to that. We will make another little thingamajigger. And there we go. How's that? That works for me. And that's actually wide enough where I'm going to use tape and I'm not going to bother with the glue. But using it both ways shows you how it can be done. See, now I overdid that right there on purpose. There's a reason. There is a method to my madness. Not always, but normally. Okay. that and fold that down that one big piece left over fold that back down I 
All righty. That was all. I left it on purpose so I could fold it back down. Now, the reason I don't just lay it flat, you know, like take a piece of paper like this and just glue it down this way. And so, because it doesn't give you any room to tuck things in. There's no, no give. When you fold over the edges like this, let me see, there we go. You know, it gives the pocket room for you to put things in. But if you just laid it flat and you just glued it right there, there's no give. All right, so here's this pocket. And we may put more pockets in there, don't get me wrong. Let's see, right here is this one that says it's elementary, which I really like, just like that. Just like that. Yep, just like that. That's kind of cool. All right. Yeah, but you know what? If I do that there, that's the center of the book. That's where the... That's where the sewing is going to go, so that'll mess that up. Dag nabbit. All right. No, I don't like that there, though. It looked better there. Well, I can sew the other signatures in and rubber band this one? Nah. Hmm. That is really cool that way, though. I really like how that turned out. Huh. All right. Well, let's see. Let's do it. Let's do it. Just looks too good to do that, to not do that. Mm. Okay, well, I'll have to trim this side since I didn't quite get it as even as I'd like, but that's okay. I just needed it for a contrasting color. There we go. And put it right there. this in though. Give it that little bitty crease that's needed before I tape it down. Okay. Oh, and what's going to be cool is the way I'm doing this is there will be a pocket on both edges. No! Awesome, okay. 
did not want that crooked. There we go. And we will have to put something in there to come out. And on this side, that's pretty cool, huh? Don't you think? Oh, there we go. I don't know. I just, I liked the way that came out. All right, and there's a little bit of gap, so I'm going to glue, put in a little bit of glue right there. Did any glue come out? There we go. Just, I love how that came out. Okay. I'm going to keep going over that and over that and over that and over that. Did we already put the, the pocket for the tag in here yet? Nope, not yet. Oh, yes, we did right there. Oh, wow. Okay, so that, we're going to have to fix that, which we can do. Not a problem. Okay, so now that that one's done, we do need, I think we do need another graphic in here somewhere though. We did that one, we did the back, no, we're good on graphics for, at the moment. We still have two more signatures. Let's see, there's this one, okay, that'll work. I made this too wide. I really did. But I don't want black on black, so I'll probably do this one right here. What I will do is I will cut this off, this one fold. That's all it really is, just that much. three, three eighths. Right. And I can go ahead and retrim that like I did. Ooh, that went flying right at me face. Before I do anything else with this, I'm going to get my white ink out and I'm going to ink that. So give me just a second. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Um, I just got my white, my white out and uh, let me see, where's the, no, that's not it. Oh, come on. There we go. And if worse comes to worse. I need to add anything. I've got my white gel pen right here, you know. So if I wanted to, I'm not going to do anything because right now I'll mess it up. I'm not in that frame of mind. All right. So let's go ahead. Lay this down.
Oh, come on. the edge of that a little bit so I'm going to fold that back over on itself oh come on there we go same with that now because I used a pigment ink had I not let that dry and I went to go ahead and just push it down, it would have smeared. So, there we go. Actually, what I am going to do is I am going to take this and just run a line. Oh, I hate gel pens that... And that'll be okay. Kind of like that broke up look. Doesn't look so perfect. There we go. Kind of gives just a little bit of oomph. All right, so now we need to put some graphics in this one. We've got the envelope. Let's see. Go ahead and trim this extra spread off. I was thinking I might use it to hang a charm from, but I don't want to hang a charm with just sewing thread. All right, so let's figure. We've got floor plans as the front of this. Oh, you went out of focus. All right, let's try this. Go up, focus, focus. Huh. Let me see. Ooh. Let me try and pull you out. There you go. Now, did it focus? Yeah. Okay. Now, this one I'm going to trim down fairly, fairly heavily. Because we don't have to have all of that. Oh, a hint when you're um, shopping like at those companies overseas, you know, like AliExpress. Uh, make sure when you use your filters, uh, filter free shipping. Don't look better there. Or, yeah, I kind of like, well. I don't know. Let's put him right there. Yeah, filter free shipping because it'll save you a lot of money. There are a lot of sellers on AliExpress that won't charge you shipping. 
Then there's some that will charge you no shipping if you spend a certain amount, that type of thing. But I don't, I don't look at those because... Actually, I think I want him right here. There we go. Um, yes, we have to pay homage to Sir Arthur Conan Doyle in this. So I am going to trim him up. Trim this one up. Yes, I believe this is the one. We will put Sir Arthur Conan Doyle up front. <clears throat> now, obviously, I'm only doing the graphics. I haven't really started the tags. I kind of did the one just as a show me. But, uh... I'm just trying to get the signatures uh, done a good ways. We did some embellishments, not a lot. Next video should have more. Uh, I still have to finish the cover. I have not finished the cover. I have an idea. I want to make a charm as the door knocker, a small one. But I don't know how that will work. I don't know the logistics on that one yet, so... It's just something I was rolling around in my head. Let's see. Oh, tummy's grumbling, meaning I'm hungry. But I had a piece of pizza earlier. Well, that's it. Sure, I have any overhang. I trim that off because I don't want tape to stick to something else. There's just a smidgen. Just a smidgen. Okay. Alrighty. So we've got so far. I'm going to go ahead and scroll this in again. There we go. So you can see what we've got on this signature so far. Okay, so that's the inside cover. There's our stamping from earlier, the other video. Our wallpaper. Some more stamping. Like I said, there's a pocket. Haven't finished tags yet, so that's okay. I'm probably going to put one more graphic in here. The computer graphics that I have. So let's see. Maybe this one. Do I want it there? No. I think I want it on the back. That's where I'm going to put it, is in the back. Well, let me trim it. Alrighty, I'm 
let me do five and a half here, which no, I'm going to do five and a half so I can put, I can have, I can cut the bottom part of this off. Keep this out. I get these graphics in. That's when I'll get all the little uh, the ephemera out and we'll start adding that. Not tonight, not this video though. This video is almost done. Almost. We've got one more signature. And then this video will be done. I may use the ephemera and do uh, an embellishment video next. I kind of did a little bit of the embellishments here, but come on. There we go. Okay, and I wanted this on the back. Of course it was a little bit over, but honestly I'd rather it go over where I can trim it than not have enough and have it look goofy. There we go. I gotta clean these scissors off. I do keep one pair of scissors for cutting, you know, like I call them my crap scissors. It'll cut trim off pieces of tape or glued pieces and and then when it gets too gummy and I can't use it anymore I'll just take a piece of steel wool or like a Brillo pad SOS pad whatever and I'll just I'll clean it off real quick but be very careful because you can still slice your finger up alrighty and there's the graphic on that one so let's see we don't have a lot of stamping on this one just a little which is okay Okay. Do we need? No, we'll give this one just a minute. Okay, that's the third signature, last signature. Now see, remember how skinny they were to start off with? They're not skinny anymore. So, I'll leave those there and we will work on this one. Okay, let's see. There we go. Go ahead and trim this. Oh yeah. Ugh. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Alrighty, we've got we've got a little bitty tag pocket that we're gonna use. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put him right here, just like this. I should have put him cockeyed. No. Put him here just like this. But I'm going to double tape this one because he's a little bit wide. Hmm. Make 
actually wait before I put that second one on. I need to pull this off. There we go. <sighs> yeah, I've been at the computer a little bit long today. My shoulders are starting to burn, but that's okay. I'm actually, I woke up this morning and I was so bored, even waking dead up. I almost felt like I was in tears. I'm like, that can't be right. So I got up, made me some coffee, started trying to figure out how I wanted to make some embellishments. I was watching Gail's video last night, Gail Agnostelli. I hope I said that right. I practiced, honestly, because I knew I was going to try and use some of her um, ideas today. But I wanted to make sure, you know, I could figure it out before I went and started filming. There we go. Okay. Now this one is for this, I believe, which is kind of cool because that just frames it right out. Ugh. Yep, yeah, I'm getting a little bit... Oh, this one didn't stay on. Okay. Oh, I kind of like that one right there. It says, help me! Let's do that. Just help me! Help me, help me! Okay. Okay. Put those off to the side. See what else we have. do we have I need to pay attention to. Okay, we have that. No. Okay, I kind of like that one. I think I'm going to do the quotes. We need some more quotes in here. So there's one, two, three. All right, there's three quotes. And I am going to throw that joke in there, one of there somewhere. I haven't figured out where yet, but I love that Sherlock joke. So we'll put him, put these back here. Let's cut off, let's cut out the graphics. This one also says, the game is afoot. So, oh, that one didn't come out straight. That's just not even funny. Okay, that's straight. How the heck that happened? There we go. Okay, there's one. That one says the game's afoot. Make sure this is... Five and a half. So I need it a little bit smaller. 
and five and a half. So I need to cut some of this off. those two. I'm not going to put all the quotes in one signature. I'll split them out, but I should have been thunked in about that um, before. So. Yeah. Pardon me. Let's do this instead. That one there, that one there. Once you get on a roll, it's not that bad. in this one. Let's see where we can throw a quote in this one real quick. Let's see if there's any place that needs a little bit more. Probably right here. Mm, I like that. But I do need to trim it some. There. 
use that quote, which I can put back here since we're done with that one. Okay, we've got this one. Okay, we'll put this one right here. We'll put it on this side though. Now mind you, just when I put these on here, okay, I'm not done with the page, not necessarily. You know, there are some pages that obviously don't need anything else and they look good. Um, this is all about layers. And like I said, I'm going through each signature, not just doing them individually, because I want some sort of cohesiveness throughout them. Now, you can tell they're not all the same, but they will all blend and flow together. And that is one of the things that I like. It causes tranquility and serenity in your brain. Now I'm going to put this one at a sort of an angle because I have something in mind for it later. There we go. See? Like that. Okay. And then we've got put that back and we've got one more which just says you know game of skill it's like a, a dictionary page and right down here it says the game is afoot which is a perfect actually I think I might put it right here on the front of this signature I think that is a neat idea because it's kind of plain for me so let's do that. go on that one. See, that looks good. I like that. Okay, let's get rid of these. And we need to finish up with this one. And I need another graphics or two. This one's kind of plain. Uh, let's see, what do we have as far as... Ooh. Neck, shoulder, neck, shoulder. Okay, I like this one. So I'm going to put this in there. Okay, that's the Sherlock joke. But yes, it's going in there. I just don't know where yet. I did not want to do that. I needed that there. Okay, well. We'll hold on to that because I might be able to still use it.
Okay. Maybe not. Maybe. Let's try something different. See if we can't bring it down. Yeah, see, I can do that. Now that would work. See how that worked? I just cut it down and then slid it down the pole. Let's see. That way I still get the look. Still get that look. I see my anchor, my printer. It wasn't, uh, uh, what do you call it? Anyways, the ink smeared when I was wiping it down. So what I did was made it look like I did that on purpose. So I kind of smeared it all the way. I'm not even going to take this. I'm going to glue this one. Then, since I had to cut the feet off, I can put those right back there again and still get the look I want. Yes! Okay. Now, the reason I'm not taping this and I'm gluing it is because it's kind of like working a jigsaw puzzle and the glue gives me just a second or two longer to match everything up than it would have tape because tape would have just set it down and boom that's where it's at and we don't want that we want to be able to work it want to be able to work it and work it we did See, I'm smearing it on purpose to match with the smear I did up top. And since it's only going one way, it's kind of artistic that way. My opinion, anyway. Okay, there we go. And we're off to see the wizard. Not really, but you know, hey. go. Okay. Ah, and there's that graphic. That was a little bit more labor intensive than I thought, but that's okay. Right here, I believe I'm going to put that one. Put it right here. At an angle, at an angle. Yeah. Okay.
Did we put the pocket in this one? Yep, there it is. Okay. I just want to make sure because not quite following. And we're almost ready to put this one up for now. And then next video will be working on. Okay, that one kind of folded. There we go. Alrighty. I believe this is the one I'm going to put the joke in. Come on, what happened? This one right here. Yeah. Okay, but before I do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just kind of ink the edges up a little bit because all that white, after I get it in there and I determine what else is going to go in the journal, you know, I'll probably take. Um, you know, a sponge and kind of smudge up the paper, make it look a little bit not so white. Whoops. Alrighty. Where did it go? Lost my tape. There we go. Okay. finished. Okay. And there's our joke. one of the graphics in here, another graphic. I believe we need one more, one more graphic, which will go right here. That's the one I want right there. This one says, when you've eliminated the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. That's another one of the goodies. I think what I'm going to do with this one is I've got a whole bunch of um, clusters, embellishment clusters, and baby white flowers that I may go ahead and, you know, add to the, to the sale price of this one 
as a as a freebie you know um, I've got some I've got a video or two maybe three on my channel about um, how to make cluster embellishments and baby white flowers and things like that And we're going to put this on this side. Nope, we're going to put it on this side. And no, I did not want to um, ink the edges on this one. Alrighty, so let's see how this one looks. Look at that. a little tag. There will be another tag. I'll probably throw in a couple more pockets just for goodies. You know, extra graphics that are left over from the Graphic 45 uh, paper pad. You know, because there's a bunch of these left over which I'm not obviously done with, but there will be. Oh. All right, and I believe, let me see if there's anything else right here that I wanted to throw in there right off the bat. This one's got Irene Adler on it. The woman. So. Yep, I hope they do another season of Sherlock, the BBC one. They kind of left it up in the air. Nobody was, you know, saying one way or the other if there was going to be one. But they didn't close it down so that there couldn't be. I hope they do. Because I really, really liked it. Uh, put that there, that one there. We gotta make sure this is five and a half. Well, I don't wanna cut off her name. So that was the whole point of putting it on there. Alrighty, five and a half, and that's going to cut off 221B Baker Street. That's okay. I can add to it, or add it to something else. That wasn't where I wanted it, was it? Yeah, I guess it was, right there. Okay. I'll finish this up for now. And then I'm going to go eat. I made some baked rigatoni last night. I've got some leftovers, so that's what I'm going to go eat. Whoops, that one went right off the page. Huh. But that's okay. That's why you can always fold it over on itself. This one, I wonder where I could put it that it would match. Let's see where I could add it. Maybe not to this one. 
No. Probably to one of the others. But uh, on that note, okay, there we go. For now and for this evening, I am done. But we did work on signatures all the way through. And from being really skinny at the beginning when I first started to now they're starting to fill out. So I am not worried about how wide my binder is. You see how that spreads? Spreads? Okay. So having it that wide gives me that option to spoil my journal. Spoil it as in, you know, give it all kinds of goodies. So, all right. Well, I'm going to let you go. Remember, give me a thumbs up if you like my video, please. Uh, give me a comment. Um, even if I may not reply, I'll at least let you know that I read it because I'll comment a like or a love or, you know. Um, subscribe if you're not already. If you're interested in joining my Facebook group, the links are down below. If you want notifications that I'm going to have a, a, that I've uploaded another video, click the bell icon that away on the other side of the subscribe button. And uh, always, always, always remember to find the humor in life because if you don't, life sucks. Trust me. And on that note, I will see you next time. Hope to see you in part four. And maybe part four will be able to finish it all up and um, see what the final product looks like. Okay? Have a nice day, you guys. Good luck and God bless.